I was told at one point in time in a past life I was a witch. Um, can you tell me at least one uh, something of what I was in a past life or what I did? Yes. This was a difficult time for you. It would have been during between 14th and 15th century right in the middle of the Inquisition period. You were rich, but not... It was very different than um, how you would see today's version of a witch. What does that mean? You were a healer, energy worker. Not so much with the rituals and the candles. Um, you were one that stepped out in nature. And you knew how to use the power of the mind. Mind over matter. That is really what this term you call witch is. This is somebody who's mastered the ability to ma manipulate the energies in nature using one's mind. Okay. You did this and you were the village healer. Oh. However, your village came upon scrutiny, and many in your village were put to death. Some of your students were put to death. Many of them were put to death. You were able to escape this using a power of what one would call invisibility. Oh. And how? <laughs> I was, I mean, I don't... What does that mean? You were able to manipulate energy in such a way that you could be invisible to others, that their attention would not be on you, okay. so that you can work behind the scenes. Okay. Um, I just recently, about a couple months ago, put one of my dogs down. Um, his name was Snowball. And I told him to find my friend and she would take him to my grandfather who loves dogs. And I think I know that he made it, but I want to know, did he and did he think that I did the right thing? Yes, where he is at, he has transcended duality. So he does not see terms of right and wrong. Just is. Had he been in his earthly state, mm -hmm. in his duality, type of consciousness, he would have still seen this act as right. Okay. Um, I have another dog who is very sensitive to everything around, and ever since we put my dog down, he's been, he's been, um, I don't know if he's taken over Snowball's role, or if Snowball has told him to take over his role? He plays a snowball in the astral realms. He travels between the realms as often your animals do. Humans do too, but is more common, more prevalent in animals. It is part of their re regular everyday conscious mm -hmm. that they travel between the worlds. He is still playing, still interacting with snowball. Okay. And spending more time over on the other side. Okay. Um, couple more. Um, I have a best friend who passed away five years ago, and I know that um, I know she's around me. I can hear her sometimes. Um, but how often is she around me?
time where she is is different mm -hmm. than the time on the third dimension. She is busy on her life over on the other side. Okay. Preparing for her transcendence into a higher dimension. In which she will live and begin her next cycle. Okay. Will I still be able to communicate with her when she's transcended? Yes. In fact, this will help you. This will help you grow. This will help her to serve as a guide for you. Oh. Okay. This was part of your karmic lesson in this life. Meaning? This was planned beforehand. The entire process of her leaving during her last life, or often when we complete our cycle, what we do is we become guides ourselves and help others complete their cycle. Since you were similar to what's known as twin flame, soulmates, soul okay. family, your soul came from source about the same time, you split off about the same time. Thus living many lives together, building many memories, many karma, much strength in your connection, as often you will with spirit guides. Um, I was recently told that uh, I had a past life uh, with the Druids or Celtic, and that I needed to explore that. Is there anything that you can expand upon? on that, because I'm not sure where to start. Start with being in nature, gardening, eat more natural foods, fill your bare feet on the earth. as well as study these Celtic traditions. Study nature spirits and fairies. Meditate during thunderstorms, large downpours of snow, getting in the energy of Mother Nature, connect with Mother Nature, connect with the Earth. Okay. Um. Is there anything else in a past life that I should be working on or be aware of? Similar to your Druid and Celtic past life. You have life in China. Roughly 3,000 years ago from your current time. In which you were a monk. in the mountains, in nature. Again, this would serve you to work on your connection with nature. But this helps, helps you see the abundance that really is in your world. This also helps you connect with the oneness. When you know that you are a part of it all, that you are a part of this oneness, you can do anything. <laughs> um. My youngest daughter, she has autism, and she really wants to make movies. Um, I don't know how to make that happen, and will she be able to do that? Yes, this will help her be more effective in this endeavor, in fact. Okay, good. What you see, this is a broad subject. Mm -hmm. You have these... The, this wave of souls coming through, you all are a part of this as well. These indigo children. Mm -hmm. you, you, you hear your... ones on your planet who have not as much perspective, limited perspectives, often label those with higher perspectives. Although I... 
I hesitate and explain this in a linear fashion because this is not how this works. I'm doing so for the purpose of your understanding. Okay. You have those with a lower level of understanding, almost and many times ridiculing those of a higher perspective, mm -hmm. of, a, of a higher level, because they do not understand you. So they label you and diagnose you with such terms as attention deficit disorder, hyperactivity, autism. What this really is, is this: these are very valuable, very spiritual gifts that you've been given. You've been given the gift of higher sensitivity, making you more sensitive to your world. They call this as attention deficit disorder because of their li limited understanding and their limited ability to place their attention on the broader part of the world. They lack the peripheral vision that you have. So in their narrow tunnel vision, they label you as having a deficit in your, in your attention when in, a, in reality, your attention is much broader than theirs is. Yes, I understand. Okay. Um, what is my purpose in life? This is to be you. This is everyone's purpose. For the entire universe would not exist if it was not for you. If you were not there, this entire universe would not be what it is. Much had to happen for you to even exist on this realm of physical existence. You have an entire committee of spirits helping guide you and helping direct you. One more. Um, my mom, right now, um, I'm worried about her. She's very forgetful. She blames it on her hearing. Um, she's um, lots of anxiety. Is there, and I've been trying to talk to my dad, which is hard, um, do you see something going on there that I should really worry about and try to get the ball rolling on things? The best thing you can do from your perspective is to allow them to play out their own karma, to learn their own lessons. For any weakness that you see within them, any harm that you see, being done in their lives is ultimately to build strength, to build the strength from the weakness. Is her memory going to get worse, like Alzheimer's, dementia? Yes. This is common in, in many of your physical beings right now. What this Alzheimer's really is a, from a higher non-physical perspective, is one is walking between the worlds, leaving behind much of who they are physically. It is like a slow transition. My mother-in-law has it, and the doctor did tell them that her mind is already in heaven, and right now she's just a shell. So I, I can see what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Yes, they, they hesitate to leave immediately, the shock of it, that they want some connection physically with the family. And this is why they draw out this process. Okay, thank you. Yes. Um, More on your purpose. Mm -hmm. We are individual manifestations of Source, mm -hmm. of God. Anything we do, any way we express ourselves, is in effect our purpose. For we are a part of this one energy. And by raising our own consciousness, by bettering ourselves, we in turn raise the consciousness of the planet. We change the world no matter what we do because we are one. So this is 
This would not be correct, as many people wish to have this big earth-changing purpose in life. The purpose is to simply follow what it is that is your bliss. Okay. And to express yourself fully. For in doing that, you are expressing Source or God full. Okay. Um, this is Arlene. I just have one more question, and it kind of came up uh, with something that Susan had asked. Um, my understanding, or what I've been told, is that children with Down syndrome and children with autism are brand new souls, first or second time into this world, and that uh, they kind of have one foot in this plane and one still connected and is that not true? That is true regarding the Down syndrome souls, okay. not the autism. They are at different ends of the spectrum. The Down syndrome souls, it's a sort of trial. They're putting their feet in the water. They don't live very long. They're often taken care of in their life. Not given a lot of responsibility, not given a lot of challenges other than that physically. And that's typically what they're doing, is they're, they're testing the waters. Uh, as far as, I'm sorry, as far as the <laughs> autistic children, the autistic children, these are very advanced souls. They don't communicate much with speech because they communicate telepathically. They communicate on a much higher level. They are very hypersensitive. They hear every little sound. They see everything. They have 360 degree vision. They do not only see with their eyes. They do not only hear with their ears. Many of their inner senses are active, consciously. Are, are they able, autistic children, able to um, connect with spirits? Or, Because um, I have heard that children with disabilities, especially autism, um, that spirits are more drawn to them. They communicate as clearly with spirits as with physical beings. Three or four thousand years from now, everybody, or most everybody, will be what you call autistic. This will be the norm. It may possibly happen sooner, but this is a new form of human. Is that why there is a flood of uh, these children coming to Earth right now? Yes, this is the beginning wave. They are not in an environment right now where it's easy for them to reproduce, to pass on their DNA. But they have more evolved DNA. They have, you'll find this scientifically, they have a higher silicon content. There are more silicon based beings as opposed to carbon is more tightly, from a molecular scientific level, it is more tightly bound, like your diamonds are a form of carbon. And so they are, it's a more high energy, more densely compacted soul. Almost similar to your spirit guides, living as physical. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes. May I add, I, I am not one who's big on duality. I do not speak much on duality about good or evil or positive or negative karma. However, this must be known. In your civilization right now, the way individuals with autism are being treated as if they are less, as if they are somehow... 
have a deficit or they are somehow broken. This is creating negative karma for you as a society. It would serve you better to see these individuals as teachers and to learn from them. Unless you have something else to tell us, I think we're done. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you. You're all perfect as you are. Continue being that light. Continue letting that light shine. Much love and gratitude to you. Thank you. Thank you.